Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. So, we are back with Blair and Christy, the siblings who live in this apartment in San Myshuno. Blair has just signed up for her final term at university studying psychology. She's done really well since in the last episode. She raised her GPA from a C to a B plus, so we might be able to graduate with an A plus. Who knows? Christy also has had a few changes since the last episode. She got herself an A in high school, she graduated early, and now she's doing a distinguished degree at Brychester studying drama. But obviously, Christy is still a teen, so she isn't going to be, you know, making money like the big sister is. In fact, Christy, you know what? Why don't you come watch some TV? We did manage to have a little bit of a renovation of the girls' bedrooms. I mean, the communal area is still a little bit little bit grubby, but I'm pretty optimistic that in this episode we'll be able to give this place a full facelift. We even managed to save up enough money to pay Christie's um, university tuition in full. Blair, unfortunately though, did have to take out a loan. We paid off the last loan, so now we owe about a thousand simoleons. But we did get to charisma level 8, which means we should be able to make quite a bit more money now when we post on only sims in fact let me just oh no odd jobs i always forget what time odd jobs are available why don't we go and take a steamy shower blair see if we can get into a flirty mood and maybe see if we can post a few things oh no the toilet's broken okay luckily christy likes repairing things so she's actually gonna have fun while repairing the toilet so i'm gonna have her repair this and then blair change into nude and then let's see if we can do a few only sims posts let's maybe queue up about three hopefully you don't get stopped in your tracks because of mood buffs hopefully you can stay flirty oh, oh 724 simoleons so we can already pay off our our loan now okay we're definitely getting into the higher chunk now we're basically getting paid the most premium amount we can be paid as a, an only sims creator so this is great news okay and we got just shy of 800 so we're sat on just under three and a half grand so i'm gonna just go ahead and pay off our loan payment i'll get you dressed just so you don't shock people there we go and then once you finish doing that blair seeing as you're in a pretty good mood let's just get you doing your homework let's just kick start that so we owe a thousand and eight let's just pay off the whole amount man we can afford it day one Oh, we have just come on leaps and bounds, haven't we? We're now in a position where we can make multiple, multiple grand in just a few hours. Okay, come and use the bathroom, take a shower. You're obviously a bit groggy, Christy, so let's just work on your needs. Yeah, I'm going to have Blair work on her homework, but we're in no real rush for her to fully complete it because she doesn't actually have any classes until Monday, so we've got plenty of time. Maybe I'll just let those two socialise for a bit, just to fill that social need. You know what I might do, seeing as we can afford it? I might just upgrade our TV. The TV's always the most expensive thing. So let's start there. Let's just get a new TV. Oh, we can't afford that one. That's a bit of a shame. I really wanted that one. I can maybe sell a few things around the house, though. I don't need that. Sell the bookshelf. All of this stuff needs to be replaced anyway. Suppose we could sell the coffee table. That's only worth 24 simoleons. God. Okay, well, we can afford the big TV now, at least. <laughs> we now have 10 simoleons to our name, but it was worth it. Okay, we've just finished our third piece of homework, so we only have one lot of homework to do, which is pretty easy. We can do that tomorrow. Let's get you to bed, Blair. Oh, no. The dryer's broken. Okay, that's fine, because Christy's pretty good at handiness, so I might just get her up. And, um, you know what, Christy, just grab yourself, um, grab yourself some cereal and clean out spoilt food, and then maybe you can come repair the dryer, seeing as you're our repairer and you find that shit fun for some reason. Okay, clean the lint tray and dry laundry. Did you do all of your homework, Christy? Or do you still have some to go? Oh yeah, you've still got two lots of homework still to do, so I'm just gonna get you to do that. Um, Blair, you can wake up. Let's just get you to fill your needs. So obviously I want to maintain Blair's good grades. I want to try and graduate with the highest grades possible. However, this, this episode is the last episode. So this really is the only time we have now to fully upgrade the communal areas. So we're going to need to be juggling 
getting a good grade and also working hard for the camera. Maybe stick the TV on just so you can watch TV. Maybe you guys can watch TV while doing your homework. That might help the situation because you've got one piece of homework left, Blair. So you may as well do that. Okay, Blair's homework is all done. Should we maybe see if there are any little side gigs we could do? Find an odd job? We've done all of our homework. Let's see, anything Sugar Baby related? Mm, no, I don't think so. No. Nothing Sugar Baby related today. Okay, fine. Well, then what we'll do is we'll take a steamy shower and we'll see if we can maybe just try and make a little bit of money. It'd be nice to upgrade the bathroom, make a start there. We really need to make the most of this weekend because once this week starts going, it's just going to be crazy non-stop. So why don't you go into your room and then, Christy, I'm going to have you go into your bedroom for a minute. There we go. And let's see if we could do like a few, a few only Sims posts. See, this is what I like about this. This was so slow growing. I mean, we've just made 850 simoleons. This was so slow growing. It was so rare that we would be able to make this kind of money. We were making like 70, 50, 70 simoleons a post at the beginning. And now we're kind of raking it in. Although now our confidence is a bit too high. We just kind of, maybe I'll get you to take a, another steamy shower or maybe i could just get a flirty potion will that make your flirtiness take over oh okay she's very flirty great okay go back into your room then change into nude again okay let's see if we can do let's try three three posts that will get us a nice new bathroom i think that one was only 550 but almost 800 that one that's pretty good Oh, we are smashing this now and to think the first episode was such a struggle look at that 3,000 simoleons this is one of those rare instances where we actually are like way ahead of the, the game. Um, unload and put laundry away, please, Christy. I think she, her um, responsibility, I think she's going to be really responsible. Let's have a look. Yeah, very high responsibility, getting there with emotional control. She's, she's a good kid, except for empathy and conflict resolution. But, you know, you can't have everything. All right, let's just take a look. Let's just see what we can do with the bathroom, shall we? First of all, I'm just going to sell everything we have in here, except the laundry basket. That can stay. That hasn't done anything wrong. Maybe we'll go for a nice black tile, maybe. Although that looks a little bit grubby, doesn't it? I'm not sure about that. That's a bit better. We'll get that. Yeah, okay. That's a little bit, little bit better. Looks a little bit more sleek, doesn't it? We'll go for the double delight. Do they have one in black, actually? Oh yeah, there we go, classy. Double delight right there. Brand new toilet, very nice. Might just try and color coordinate that, yeah. Better, better. Try and get a slightly nicer sink. We're not going like flashy here, we're just, we're just upgrading everything. Just trying to make everything just a little bit better. In fact, I could even replace these doors with something a bit nicer, couldn't I? I do prefer these doors, they're a bit sleeker. Yes, better, better. And we still have some money left over as well. So I might just do a little bit of flooring to the communal area. Maybe just something simple, like that maybe? I don't know. See, what if we did like hardwood planks for like the kitchen area? If I move the dining table over here, then we could have like, distinguished zones you know like this is where the living room is hmm I don't think I like that I think I'd rather it just be wood all over see I quite like this that blue do I have enough money to replace some of the some of the lights because I think a chandelier or something would look gorgeous in here or even just something like this okay perfect that will do for now looking better looking much better and we've already replaced the tv so that's pretty much the only high ticket item really we are gonna have oh i did forget that we are gonna have bills delivered soon though they're gonna come on monday but that's fine that we still have plenty of time to post on only sims in fact you know what she's woken up flirty so why don't you go over here blair make the most of this weekend and let's just do a few posts now as many posts as you will allow me to do Public number. Oh no, Blair just had her phone number leaked. Oh dear. Okay, we now have a scared mood buff, so that's fine. Just get dressed in your normal clothes then. We did a, we had a good run from that. Two and a half grand is not bad at all. Why don't you just serve, um, oh, dinner? Is, 
My my timing is so off. I thought it was like the morning. Oh well, maybe make a casserole. Oh, poor quality faux meat casserole. Oh dear, we kind of need to work on your cooking skills, I think, Blair. At least you get to take the new toilet out for a spin. Those bloody noisy neighbours again. Go and pound on the door. Pound on the door. Tell them to shut the fuck up. If you don't want to scrap, shut oh, the fuck up. Cheerful introduction. Complain about the noise. Be quiet. I'm sorry, you're right, that was a bit inconsiderate. We'll try to keep the noise down. Yeah, that's probably because I've got high charisma skill that that went down so well. Did that fucker just invite himself into my house? Oh, I think he's... Hey, fuck off. Get out of it. Should we see if we can do anything about the kitchen? I mean, we have, like... I need to save about a thousand to make sure we've got enough to cover our bills. So... I can't really do too much. I might be able to replace some of the counters, though. Maybe I'll replace it with the, um, the new kitchen units. Can I afford to replace the side tables as well, I wonder? Okay, beautiful. Spent a bit more than last time because I got an extra counter, but whatever. It looks good. It looks better now. And who knows? There might even be, like, a, a gig on today that we could do. So the kitchen will basically pay for itself. Who the fuck oh, is that walking into my house? Get the fuck out of here. Who do you think you are? Um, odd jobs? See if there are any odd jobs around, maybe? Oh, no. Nothing today. Well, there's nothing that needs to be done around the house. I may as well take this chance to, um... I guess just try and make a bit more money then. Maybe if I really try and utilise today and do as much around this flat as possible today, then I can really focus the next week of trying to get that GPA to an A+. I have noticed we're only making like 500 per post now, whereas before it was more like 800. Yeah, like 527. What happened to all those 800s and thousands we were almost making? Oh, there we go, 849. It just seems to be completely random how, how much you make. But we can afford our bills now. 909 simoleons. All right, we'll take one more. It's a funny position because I have gone from having like no spare time and frantically trying to get everything done to now suddenly I have the whole day and not really much that needs doing. Why don't you just practice your speech then, Blair? We're just miraculously on top of everything. I suppose we could always do the laundry. Maybe we could practice our cooking, do a chicken sliders. We only have level three cooking, so we could always work on that. Maybe I'll use some of this downtime to um, do a little bit of studying. Which ones do I have an exam for? The limits of memory, let's study that. Just trying to make the most of the calm before the storm. Because once they both start going to university, it's just going to be full on homework, studying. Oh man, those neighbours are still being so noisy. I can't send it. can't get any sleep. Finally, they've shut the fuck up. Okay, go to sleep, ladies. Term has officially started. What time is your first class? 11 a.m. Okay, okay, that's that's fine. I think it's probably a good time to maybe get um, Christy a computer of her own. It's not really fair for them to share. So there you go, Christy. You've got your own computer now too. So you can both study. Oh, today's mail has been delivered. Great. Let's just pay the bills and get them out of the way. They're a little bit cheaper this time, which is good. Okay, guys. Have a good day at class. Enjoy. Christy's first day at class as well. Bless her. Okay, you're both back. I'm going to get you both to do your homework. Let's just try and stay on top of this as much as pos. And I think you guys are on pretty much the same schedule. I think you both have your next class at three o'clock. So that is very handy that you're both on the same schedule. Oh shit, no, you were supposed to already be at class. Oh no, what time was your class? 1.30. Oh shit, you're an hour late. Oh man, that's not great, is it? Not, not the best start. Right, you better do your homework, Christy, because you didn't even turn up to class. I know that was my fault, but still. Okay, Blair, you catch up on your homework now. I'm going to find out, actually, Christy, which class was it that you missed, because I'm going to have you just study that class. It was this one, Twelfth Night Club. So as soon as you finish your homework, you are going to study the Twelfth Night Club to try and make up for skiving off. Okay, I'm going to get you to study for one hour until 8.30. That should make up for the class time that you missed. And Blair, you could just go ahead and go to bed. All right, Christy, you've pretty much caught up. Take a shit, take a shower, grab some leftovers, and then you can go to bed as well. 
Those fucking neighbours again. Okay, let's try knocking politely this time. See if we maybe try a softer approach. Politely knock. Complain about loud noises. Shut the fuck up, Cody. There's there's no there's no chance for me to like call the landlord and report them though. Hey, fuck face, get back out here. Complain about the noise again. Okay, he stopped. Good. Are you fucking serious? Are you serious? Oh, I hate this guy. I, I need to install like a murder mod or something. Okay, finally, finally. Just a little bit of peace and quiet. Blair, your class starts in an hour. Get the fuck up. Um, go grab some leftovers. What time is your class? Let's see. 8 a.m. Oh, you don't even have time to eat. Sorry, Blair. All right, Christy, you can go to class now. Blair, you can do your homework. This feels a lot more manageable. I feel like I'm really getting into the swing of things now. I'm fairly confident that we can... Well, I'm confident that Blair is going to ace it. Christy needs to get her head down a little bit more. Oh, I think Christy just went straight back to class. Yeah, okay. Double whammy. One right after the other. So, Blair, I'm just going to have you study for one of your exams before you have um, class in another hour. Okay, Christy, two back-to-back -back classes. Go and take a shit, girl. You deserve it. And then you can do both your sets of homework. Hopefully, Christy has made up the difference from missing that class yesterday. I'm so proud of you two, doing your homework together, staying on top of things. Christy's responsibility is in the res in range to earn the responsible trait. Oh, so proud. So proud. I might take a look and see what I can get with... Um, because I don't have any bills coming out now for basically a week, so I can spend all the money I have on more renovations. And we only have this space left, so maybe I'll see where I get with renovating the kitchen a bit more. I guess we'll see, we'll see. So I've spent a fair bit of the money. Um, we got a new dining table. Just got a few things to like bulk out the area a little bit, but we're still nowhere near finished. I think we definitely still have to do a few more posts we need to replace the um, the sofa, we need a rug, coffee table, TV stand. None of these windows have curtains or anything, so we need to do something about that. Oh, I moved the little pink bean bag into Christy's room, because I thought that would be something she'd probably quite like. Yeah, so we still need curtains and everything. I'm thinking with this empty space here, I might put three more counters, like a breakfast bar type thing. So yeah, definitely still a lot more to do with this place. And seeing as you've woken up early, why don't you take a steamy shower and we'll see if we can maybe do a few more posts on Only Sims. Get over here, girl. Get over here. We will we'll change into nude. I want to check as well how long we have before Christy ages up because it'll be a lot easier when she isn't a teen so I don't have to worry about her being around all the time. One day till she ages up. Okay, perfect, perfect. This only Sims, man. We're making bank off of this. I'm not even going to bother upping my charisma skill anymore. I feel like we, we're already making loads of money. Oh, but we have now acquired an atrocious reputation. Oh, dear. That's not great, is it? People are going to start harassing me now. I'm going to get phone calls fr from other Sims being like, You've got such a bad rep. All right, just change into your normal clothes then. We don't have any homework that needs doing. What time is our very first? 11 a.m. Christy, what time is your first class? 11 a.m.? Yeah, 11 a.m., okay. You know what? Oh no, we just lost our flirty mood buff. Go and take a steamy shower. Let's see if we can do like just a few more posts on Only Sims, because I feel like we can smash this. Or maybe not. I think it's going to be a while before we get a flirty mood buff that sticks. Oh wait, don't I have my flirty potion? Oh yeah, I keep forgetting I've got that. Right, I'm going to have you take a few pics because I want to now be at a point where I'm not even worrying about budget and I can just go ahead and renovate this place to my heart's content. Beautiful, six and a half grand, that is plenty. Okay, I'm trying to get them to spend most of their downtime studying. All right, ladies, you both have class at 11, so off you go. Good luck. Smash it. I'm sure they'll do a grand job. Okay, so we learned from last time that Christy is not to do her homework because she has class again in, like, an hour and a half. You can do your homework, though, Blair, because your next class isn't until three. Christy, maybe you can just watch some TV until you have class. Okay, Christy's off. 
What what are you complaining about? Saying it's filthy. Where? Where is it filthy? It's not filthy at all. You're just being dramatic. So now you have two lots of homework to do. Not fun, I know, but that's how the cookie crumbles, I'm afraid. Okay, so tomorrow, tomorrow we've got to get our heads down, buckle down and do our term papers and our presentations and just try and revise as much as poss. Today is a big day, the day before final exams. Okay, we should be in for a pretty good day. All of our homework is done and we shouldn't have any homework from today onwards so we can focus on our little jobs. Okay, so before class, I'm going to have you both work on your little presentations. So Blair's first class of the day is in an hour and your first class of the day is in three hours. Okay, cool, cool. Looking good, ladies. All right, Blair, you can take a break so you can go to class. Have fun. And Christy's finished just in time for her next class. Sweet. Okay, Blair, you can go back to your presentation. Christy, have a great day at class. And what time's your next class now? Four hours at 1.30. Okay, cool, cool. We should be able to get this done by then. What quality is that now? Oh, still just normal. Okay. Well, you have class in one hour. Christy, now that you're back, you can come refine and organize your presentation. Just need to try and keep you both happy and on top of everything. Oh, have you finished yours? Excellent quality. Okay, um, practice presenting then. Blair, you finished as well. You need to practice presenting too. I wonder what would happen if they presented, if they gave each other's presentations for their final presentation. Okay, Christy, you could just watch some TV. Oh, you're already doing that. Okay, great. Blair, you may as well watch a bit of TV as well while you're eating. And then I'm going to send Blair to take a thoughtful shower and a shit. And then I'm also going to have her come and write her term paper. And then Christy, your needs are pretty good apart from being a little bit tired. So you can go ahead and start writing your term paper now. Let's try and get you both on A pluses, shall we? Oh no, the toilet's broken again. Okay, Christy can just fix that when she's finished her term paper. For now, Blair, get your head down, girl. Get writing that term paper. How are you getting on, Christy? You doing all right? It's Christy's birthday. Christy's celebrating her birthday by taking her final exams. Christy has finished a draft of her term paper. Okay, well, obviously, we're going to edit it. Blair's finished a copy of hers. So you know what, Blair? You can go and edit yours as well. Don't even think about walking away. Come on now. You both have your final exams tomorrow. Buckle down, buckaroo. Okay, Christy's paper is looking good. Further editing isn't going to help. Okay, well then in that case, just submit your term paper and then get some sleep. And then Blair, you can submit your term paper and you can get some sleep as well. Let's see how we can manage you tomorrow. So what time is Blair's first class? Her first class is 11 a.m. So she does have time to give her final presentation in the morning. What about Christy? When's your first class? Also 11am. Okay, so you can both give your presentations at like 8am. Perfect, perfect. I'll let you guys sleep until about 5. Okay, I'm just gonna pause so I can queue up a load of stuff. Okay, Christy, take a shit. Grab leftovers. Blair, you just grab leftovers. Watch TV. So where's, what's Blair's final exams? Okay, the limits of memory. So you know what, Blair? Come and study for the limits of memory. Actually, no, your first exam is mastering the mind. So instead, study mastering the mind for about an hour. Okay, and you can both just study until like 8 a.m. All right, Blair, you could take a break from studying now. Go and give your final presentation. You need to stop being so enraged, little miss attitude. Go and give your final presentation. And then hopefully you'll both be back in time for your final exams. I think both of them have a final exam at 11. Yeah, I think, I think we're doing all good, actually. They've both done their term papers. They've both done their final presentations. So until 11, Blair, you can come and study um, the limits of memory. And Christy, your final exam after your first one is the 12th nightclub. So you can just go and study that until 11 when you take your first classes. Okay, final exam time, good luck. State of that toilet, filthy.
filthy. Right, I think I'm done with studying now. When they get back, I'm not going to get them to bother studying. If, if they haven't got A pluses from everything I've done so far, then it's just never going to happen. I may as well use this time to uh, finish up this flat, actually. Finish up decorating. Okay, pretty happy with that. I think that's about as done as it's going to be. Oh, you guys are back. Back from your final exams. Okay, so your next one, 45 minutes. Blair, how about you? When's your next final exam? At three o'clock. Okay, I'm gonna have you quickly just take a nap. You can take a quick two hour nap. Okay, you can wake up now, Blair. You gotta go to your final exam right away. Christy's back. You're all done. Your whole first semester completely done, Christy. Well done. You can just lounge around on the couch. Enjoy yourself, girl. And hopefully it's not too long before we get the final verdict. Oh, Blair's back. Okay, perfect. Congrats, Blair. Grab yourself some leftovers. And, well, you guys just enjoy the rest of your day. No pressure anymore. Exams are done, especially for Blair. Her final term is done. So she's, like, on the brink of getting her degree. I kind of don't want to say goodbye to these two, though. I quite like the idea of seeing how things go when they, you know, get their jobs and... Oh, okay, okay, this is a good look for Christy. Her GPA is A+. Plus. GPA A minus, okay, but we did get A plus for everything, so that's awesome. Pretty happy about that. So, um, Christy, you can go ahead and sign up for another term. We can pay for it. And Blair, you're completely finished with university now. This sim has graduated, no more terms to attend. Yeah, I kind of don't really want to say goodbye to these two. I sort of want to see how they get on when they're, like, funding for themselves and they're both working in the careers they enter in after they get their degrees so maybe we'll pop in and see these two again but for now that's it from me thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did please like and subscribe you know i love it when you do that and i'll see you in the next video bye bye